First things first. One, I want to understand this change of direction routine. And two, we're going to try and see if we can figure out where the IRQ is and try and understand what those three arrays are. So, first things first. The change direction routine. Um, I had it on here a moment ago because I was looking at it. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's here. Oops, excuse me. It's here. Um, there we go. Change of direction two. And change of direction. But, I've been doing a bit of research. There is a root routine which is here. So this routine fires change of direction two and change of direction. Now, I know, I know Steve's on the stream because he said hello, and I'm just wondering why he's calling them twice. I, I've been trying to wrap my brain. So what we're gonna do is gonna try and map it out. We're gonna try and map oh the- Oh my God, more bits? Thank you very much. You guys really spoil me. <laughs> Doxter, thank you very much for the bits, mate. Thank you. <laughs> that was the first time that sound's been used. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this, well, this time next month, yeah, this time next month, it'll be all over. It'll be a bit sore and it'll be Anyway, so, mapping this out. So, I've <laughs> I've got my magic tool, got the graphics tablet, and we're going to try and draw it out, all right? Going to try and map out what this thing's doing. So, I have got paint open. Here we go. Where's my pencil? There's my pencil. So, we're going to try and map this out. Yeah. So, this is, the, this is what I've worked out. This is the route. This is called from one place, but it calls the change of direction. Well, this is what... I, I try. I've, I've, I've put it down. I've put it down on paper, right? But I'm still not convinced I've got it right. So I thought I'd do it again on here, all right? So we've got um, a, a root um, thing that because I was trying to find where these change of change of direction was implemented, yeah. And these are the only two places that that routine's called. Those two routines, I should say, are are called. And so I thought, right, okay, here we go. So what I've done, what I'm doing is, let's see if this is, is this on? There we go, look, there we go. Getting all, getting all professional now. So uh, let's get a color down here. Oh, I've got to remember, this is the entire screen. Right, so we'll go for that. You been at the Aston's Meds? Where did you get this from? Eh? Where did you get this from? Where did you get this from? What are you doing with Aston's Meds? No, you're not having it. No. No, he's not having it. No, mate. That's not for you. Right. So, looking at it. So, the first thing we do is we're looking at Y um, direction temp. So, we'll call it Y direction, yeah? Whoa, come on. So, we'll start something off here. Y direction, and there's two two outcomes. 
we branch if positive, we branch if plus, and we must, because we're not doing anything else, so it's branch if minus, yeah? So, there's two outcomes. Oh, I've got to get this right. Two outcomes. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, one here. So, because I know the direction, the direction has three states, right? So it has um, equal to FF, equal to zero, and equal to one, yeah? So there's the three states of the direction. So FF means going left, one means going right, zero means stay put, right? So here we have got branch of plus, so we'll put that in. So basically this is saying is equal to one, yeah? Uh, and I'll just put branch if plus, yeah? Which is then coming here. This one is saying not equal to one, which is then coming here. So let's look at the first one. So if it's branch, if we're plus, we're coming down here. So we're loading x direction to x direction. So uh, x d i r. And for the other side, we are doing the same thing. We're loading x direction. Right, so let's look at the branch if plus branch. Cool, that's a bit of a mouthful when you've had a skinful. So we've got two outcomes. We've got branch if plus. So we've got the same we've got the same situation as above the above at the top, right? So we've got two outcomes. Yeah. Um, we've got if it's equal to one, so that's branch if plus, or not equal to one. Yeah, and so if we're branching if plus, that's doing implementation of, implementing change of direction. And it's doing it twice. All right, so we'll put that in there. So this is running something and we'll just call it change two. And it's running it twice. Good question. Uh, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? It would be. That would be uh, zero and one. Yeah. So this is not, but. So that means that's not going to be that. That means it's going to be equal to FF. Equal to FF. And so this does something on, so where are we? So that's going to change implementation. Okay, so that's doing, that's doing change one. Yeah, yeah, branch if plus is zero or more, isn't it? Yeah, because branch if minus is testing the final bit. So on this side here, so let's look at it. So um, it's this one. So we've got the same thing again. Branch if plus is going to implement change of direction. One. So branch if plus which is equal to zero or one. This one is going to be equal to FF. And that's doing change one. So that means the other one must be doing change two. Yes, it is, go straight into change two. Right, so we have to understand what's going on here. So if it's, so let's just put some different colors on here. 
So, I'm just trying to think. 100, 100, FF, FF. That, that's it. So, this is our route. This is what calls the two change of directions. The thing I'm concerned about is why it's running it twice. And this is why I need to understand because I didn't quite understand it. So, we're going to work out... We're going to work out the other ones, yeah? So, we're going to work out this one. So, this one is... So, we'll call this change 2. Yeah? So, change 2. Let's see what change 2 is doing. So, we're loading XDIR. So, first thing we're doing is we're checking XDIR. And we have one, two, one, two, three outputs, three different possible routes. All right. So we've got three possible routes. So let's look at the first one. First one is branch if equal, then branch if plus. Okay. So branch if equal. So that means it's equal to zero. Uh, branch if plus it means it's equal to 1 so this one means it's equal to FF that's the one that we don't actually test yeah because we're, we're, we're implying it because we move on to the next one so I've got I've got some routines here where it says um, elements element is 0 so we can go to look for element is 0 and so we're testing YDIR next. So here, we're testing YDIR. And what have we got here? Um, two outcomes, branch if plus and everything else. So we've got two outcomes. Branch if plus and everything else. So that means this equals 0 or 1, this equals F, F. So what are we doing? Um, right, making making X direction F, F on the plus and making it 1 on other other thing. Right, so we're, the outcome of this is X, D, I, R equals F, F and X, oops, X, D, I, R equals 1. Is that right? So that's storing 1, yeah. And that's storing FF. So that's that one. So the next one was, I think it said, element is not 0, which is the next one further down here. But we've got three outcomes here. So... So on this one, it was branch of plus, wasn't it? Yeah. On this one, so we're testing y, y, d, i, r, and we've got three outcomes. Branch of equal, branch of plus, and branch of minus. Okay. So b equal, b plus. And we imply that, so that's going to be that's going to be one, and that's going to be zero. So what do we do on the zero one? We make y dir one. Hey, Mark. Uh, da, da, da. What do we do for the plus? We make x. We make x equals zero. Okay. So on the plus, we make x equals zero. Oh, come on, pen. Rub out. You rubbed out before. Hang on. Let me just rub this out. Oh, it's not rubbing out. Ah. Oh, well. 
y equals 1. And then the other one, that's making the y direction 0. Okay. So here, y equals 0. So I'm going to, I'm just going to use the short, short end. Right, we've got another one that we ain't looked at. So this is this one. So we've got three outcomes for that. Three outcomes for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. And we are testing y direction. And we've got three outcomes. One, two, three. So, um, first one is equal, branch of equal. So, equal to zero. And that was doing make y direction ff. So, y equals ff. So, branch of plus, And we imply branch of minus, I think. Yeah. Oh no, branch of minus. Ooh, we actually test for minus. So anyway, that's branch of minus. Yeah. So that's equal that's equal to one. So if we branch of minus, we are making x direction zero. X equals zero. And if we are plus so in, it moves on. So we are making y equals zero. All right. Y equals zero. And is that what I got? Y equals zero. Yep, that's what I got. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's what I got. So, there's another routine as well. There's the, cha the, the change routine, which is just the normal one. So, we'll pick another colour out. So, this is the change one routine. So we're going to start off with, so let's find it. So we're testing X direction. So X DIR. And we have got what? One, two, three outputs. So same thing again, three outputs. So let's make the picture a bit bigger. So we've got one, two, three outputs. And we have got branch of equal, branch of plus and branch of minus. I should have really knew that. So branch of equal, which is means equal to zero. Branch of plus means equal one. And this one is equal to FF, which is branch of minus. So let's look at the branch of equal to one, which goes there, which is looking at YDIR and has two branches. Right, so YDIR has two branches off it. And we are going plus is X equal one, everything else is X equal FF. So this is equal to zero or one, branch of plus, where x equals, I think it was one, one, yeah. x equals one, and this one was x equals ff. 
So that was the branch if equal. The branch if plus is where it's not equal, which is down here. So we're testing YDIR again. And we have one, two, three outputs on this one. And we have um, Y is FF. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong thing. So, uh, branch if plus. Branch if minus, branch if equal. So, equal is, branch if equal makes y dir ff. So, y equals ff. Yeah, well, this this is what I was trying to understand what what this what this is doing. So, I I was not sure, but we'll but that's why I want to have a look. So, branch if minus means x equals zero. And the other one is y equals zero. Have I got that right right way around? No, I haven't. Branch oh branch if equal is y equals ff. I've got that the wrong way around. Yeah. Branch if plus, that's the implied one, yeah, okay. So there's one more, which is this one here. So we're looking at YDIR again. And we have got three possible outcomes. So, one, two, three. So, uh, let's start at the top. Branch if equal, branch if plus, then bran in implicit branch minus. So, branch if equal, branch if plus, uh, branch if minus. So branch if equal is load y with 1. Branch if plus is x is 0. And y is 0 for the final one. So we have three... We have three routines. Let me just make sure that I've got this looking right. It's y0 equal y1, x0 on the plus, ff1. Yep, they're all right. So we have to understand now how this all works. And the only way to do it is a truth table. Yeah, The only way to truly do it is a truth table. Now, you've got to remember that the thing that calls it runs these two others twice. The same thing twice. Yeah. So therefore, there's three steps to this truth table. Now, I don't know if anyone has done truth tables before. Hang on, I'm trying to find where it is. I'm, uh, I'm probably too far... And I think it's up. There's two. There's two. I thought it was in between. Oh, no, here it is. So this is our root routine. That is called from this place. And we're going to look to see what that place is, yeah? But what I'm going to do is going to do a truth table. We need to understand... What is going on? What is going on? So I don't know if you guys have ever done a truth table. But it's a very simple thing. Just fire up Excel. So I'm going to put this to one side. Now we've got the dark pictures done. And we're going to create a truth table. So we've got X, D, 
IR. Yeah? Y D I R. So there are two things. So F F F F F F Zero 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 One 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 F F Zero One and then we copy that and we'll make this a bit more presentable. In fact, we'll do the whole lot. Here we go. So I want to make this text and I want to center align everything. There we go. So there are two initial states, yeah? There are two initial states of the two directions, X direction and Y direction, yeah? Because this is what ultimately we're changing. Now, I'm not too sure if you can see that, so I will do... Can you see that now? Yeah? So, we have two... We run a routine twice. Yeah? So we run the routines twice. So that means the states of those two variables get changed twice. Yeah? And so we're going to run through it and try and understand what we're going to be doing. So our first combination is X and Y are both FF. So we start at the root. So Y is FF. So we come down here and X is FF. That means it's going to run the change to routine twice. So let's, let's do it. Let's find the change to routine, which I think is this one. So X, X is FF, so we come down here. And Y direction is FF. So that means here, so we're changing X to being from FF to zero. So we, we put that in. So zero, but Y is staying the same, yeah? And then we run the routine again, right? So we'll go back to change two. And this time our states are zero for X and FF for Y. So we'll go back to change two. So X is now zero. So we're coming down this branch here and Y is still FF. And then we change the X direction to one. So we've gone from zero, now we've gone to one. So that's the first run. So the f if, if we've got initial state of FFFF, we end up with an exit state of 1FF. So, right, let's do the next one. So let's do this one. So XDII is FF and 0. So we'll go back to the root. So XDIR, uh, YDIR is 0. So that means we come down this branch. XDIR is FF. So we're running the change 1 map, which is this one. So, if you remember, x is zero, x is ff, y is zero, yep. Yeah. So x is ff, so that means we come down here, and y is zero, so that means we come down this branch. So we're changing y to equal one. So here, we are still ff, but now y is one. And then we run that routine again. So this time, ff and one. So we'll come here, so, X is FF, so we're down here, and then Y direction is 1, so it's this, and then we're changing X to be 0, right? So X becomes 0, Y is 1, yeah? So in this state, we are, we are changing, if it is a change of direction, which we think it is, it's saying if the alien's going up the screen, uh, no, going left and staying on the same row, when we run this, it then becomes stationary, but starts going down, yeah? So, just keep that in mind. Right, the next one, FF and 1, okay. So, we're just going to run through it. So, YDII is 1, so we come down this branch. And X is FF, so we're running change 1 again. All right? So, just to remind us, we are looking at FF and 1. So, X, directory, X direction is FF, Y direction is 1, so that's this. So, it's now changing X to be 0. Okay, let's change X to be 0, and that means Y is still staying the same. And then we run through it again, but this time 0 and 1. So, oh, I'll keep opening that, I'm going to have to shut that. 
So 0 and 1. X is 0. So we're coming down this branch. And Y is 1. Which is here. So we're still... Then we're changing X to be 1. Okay. So X is now 1. And 1. Hey, face. We're just running through a truth table. So... For this, so what is going on? What do you think is going on? Well, it looks like for this state, we are flipping, we are ch literally changing the direction of X. Yeah, we're on that one, we're changing the direction of X from going left to now going right as, as well as going down. But we're not changing the Y direction because it all stays one. So that means it's going down, but then suddenly it changes from left to right. Yeah, this one. That one is basically changing everything. So we are going from going left but on the same row now to being st static on the, the column but going down the screen. And here, this is going left and up changes to be going right and still up. So this is how the change of direction. So let's carry on doing let's carry on doing the truth table. So we're now on 0 and FF. So we go back to the root. So Y is 0. So we're still coming around this branch. Oh, hang on. Let's get it right. No. Y is FF. And X is 0. So Y is FF. And then X is 0. So we're running through change 1 again. Which is this one. So y X is 0. Y is FF. So let's do this. X is 0, so we're coming down this branch. And Y is FF, so we're making X FF. And we're keeping Y that. Then we run through it again. So they both FF. So X directory, X direction is FF. Y direction is FF. That's changing Y to be 0. So FF, 0. Let's go back. So back to the root. Both of them are zeros now. Y direction is zero, so we're coming down this branch. X direction is zero, so we're coming and we're running change two. Right. So remember, we are zero, zero. Yep. So X direction is zero, so we're coming down this branch. Y direction is zero, so we'll come down this one. So it's changing the X direction to be FF. F, F, zero. And then we run through it again. So, oh, I'm going to shut that one down. Shut down. So we're running through this again. And we are now F, F, zero. So X direction is F, F. So we run down this one. And then Y direction is zero. So we're now changing Y to be F, F. So it becomes F, 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 F. Right, next one. I know this... This is probably being boring, but this is how you work things out. This is how you work things out. So, um, back to it. What are we doing? One, zero. Y is zero. X is one. So we're doing change two. So that's this one. And so let's just make sure. X is zero. Y is one. X is zero. Oh, y is 1, x is 0. Yeah, change 2. Y, so x is 0, y is 1. So we're changing x directory to f, x direction to ff. Which means that's still 1. And then we run through it again. So ff, 1. So ff, 1 changes y to be 0. So. So that's change. So that's basically saying we're staying in the we're changing from where we are staying in the same same column, but we're going down, yeah. And we're now changing it that we are going left, but staying on the same column. Right, last three. Here we go. Last three. So one ff. So we start at the root. So ff, then one. So we're going to change one. So X, X, let's just make sure, X is 1, yeah. 
X is 1. So we're coming down here. And Y is F. Y is FF, so we're making X zero. X is zero, but Y still FF. Still back on change one. So this time we are now um, zero and FF. So zero comes down this branch and FF comes down this branch. So now we're changing X to be FF. FF. One, zero, so we're getting there, we're getting there. So Y is one, X is zero, so we're going to change two. So X is one, Y zero. Hang on, did I do that right in the first place? X is one, Y zero. Y zero, X is one, yeah, change two. That's this one. One, zero, so this is 1, so we come down this branch, and y is 0, so we're making y equal 1. Right, so x is still 1, but y is now 1. Then we're going through that again. So it's now 1, 1, so we're going through it again. So x equals 1, y equals 1, we're changing x to 0. So x changes to 0, y is still 1. And then last but not least... 1 1 so we go to the root 1 1 is changed 2 which is this one so x is 1 y is 1 x becomes 0 and 1 so now 0 and 1 in the same thing x is now 0 y is now 1 x becomes f f y stays the same so there we are, we have now a truth table. So we're going from the initial state here. So this is our initial state, and then we end up here. So if we're going left and up, when we run through that change of direction routine, we then become going right and up. So left and up becomes right and up. Left and staying where we are becomes um, stay where we are and down. Yeah. Left and going down becomes... Oh, no. Left, yeah. Left and going down becomes right and going down. Stay still and going up becomes going left and staying on the same row. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And, and that's what it took me a while to understand what what it was doing. When when you look at it, when you look at it, it's like what uh, Steve says. It's sort of doing a rotation. It's sort of. It's like a loop. So if if you had the right alien and. And, and, told, and told it to do the change of direction all the time, eventually it would loop back round with, because of what it, what it is. And that's what this change of direction is doing. Right, so I'm going to save that. In fact... Save as... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Save over that because that it was wrong. So this is how our change of direction is working. So we're going we're going from right and up to <laughs> Thank you. We're going right and up, right and up to no, it's left and up, isn't it? Left and up to right and up. So let's do. Let's just do this. Left and um, stationary becomes uh, stationary and down. <laughs> um. <laughs> Well, 
left them down becomes right and down so let's get this done so stationary and up let's copy this stationary and up becomes uh, left and stationary 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 and stationary becomes uh, left and up um, stationary and down becomes becomes left and stationary yep yeah. this one is right and up becomes left and up this one is right and stationary becomes stationary and down and right and down becomes left and down So let's 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 try and follow this. So left and up becomes right and up. So right and up then becomes left and up. Yeah? So you can they will th that flips. Left and station right, left and stationary becomes stationary and down. Stationary and down becomes left and stationary. Right and left and down becomes right and down. So right and down becomes left and down so it flips it's flipping the orientation isn't it stationary and up becomes left and stationary so left and stationary oh becomes stationary and down stationary and down becomes left and stationary so that's actually three okay we can use this now while while we're working so this is what I've been playing with, trying to understand, was why we had two chains of directions. Now, the two chains of directions, there is a subtle difference between the two. Because when you compare them like side by side, side by side, there was a subtle change. So, for example, um, the branch if equal here, on this one is one x is one f x is ff. On the other one, it is it's x is ff and x is zero. The middle bit, middle bit, basically is the same except for the equal, which is flipped from one to ff. And this side, the difference between the two difference between the two is on the equal sign this flips between ff and one what's up um if you run the video for alien one we should see the logic happen on the screen edge yes that's what I was going to and now I've got it bookmarked I can should be able to find it straight away here we go start selling online no right so um, so we're looking at alien one Oh, how do you slow it down again? Ah, there we go. All right, let's go back. So Alien 1, as soon as it hits, it goes down. 
So it went. So this one. So alien, alien one. Let's have a look. Let's just try and work this out. Yeah. Do, 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 do. There we go. Come on. Go oh, too far. Impatient, John. There we go. So it hits the border now. So it's going. So it's going. Um, le uh, right. It's going right and stationary. So if we go back here, right. So right and stationary becomes stationary and down, which is what it's done. Yeah. If I go back, it come. It was it it here become right and stationary to here but because it's there now it becomes stationary and down so it's gone down one yeah and then what does it do next it's now gone down again yeah so right and that so it's stationary and down so stationary and down went left and stationary Is that right? Let's go back. How do we go back? Someone said you can go back. Here we go. Right, so it's there. So it's come down one. And then it's it's gone diagonally, hasn't it? It's gone diagonally. So that would be left and down. So what's left and down? That's here. We'll have to see what that what's that's that's doing. Yeah. But that's that's what um what Steve's on about. When it hits when it hits the side, so it comes down and then goes back. So that's what um, Steve was on about. That there is a test. There is a test for where it hits the script, where it's um, hitting the borders, and we saw that in the last stream. And uh, we came across it. Uh, I'm trying to re trying to remember where it is now. I'm trying to remember where it is. There it is. Here it is. This is the test, right? So it's testing for off the screen. So. These functions, if you if I do a if I go and look for them, so if I kick here, come here, and grab that, so we'll have a look at that one. All right, so we'll have a look at that one. There. Ooh, that's going further down, isn't it? That's coming down here. Right. Okay. We'll ignore that one. So we'll grab that one. Here we go. So it's loading the X element. So it's loading where we are on the screen, the row value. And then it runs here and it says, if I'm equal to zero, if I'm equal to zero, then I come here and set the carry. If I'm not equal to zero, then I must be somewhere in the middle of the screen. So when it comes out, if the carry is clear, right? If the carry is clear, that means we're not off the screen. But if the carry is not clear, then it what it does... It loads the Y, so it loads the Y element, yeah. and it adds, it goes down a row. Now, Myriad is 30 columns, if my memory serves me right. It's 30 com columns, it widens the screen, and that's why it says add one in base 30. So it comes, so it, we're off the screen, we've come off the screen here. We've now detected we've come off the screen, so we're now adding. Yes, yes. So we're going to get into all this. We're going to get into all this to find out where all these are coming from. You know, the different aliens have different behaviours, as, as Steve's just put in chat. But 
Steve was also very clever. I was really impressed with this because this routine checks for this side. Checks this side. Yeah. Because 15, 15 is what, 20? 21. Yeah. Is that adding 30? Nah. Whatever, oh, restore it in 43, increase 43. Uh, no, this, this function's wrong. This function is not right. Yeah, that's, that's all right, mate. It's all right. This function is not right. Add to it in base 30. It's not. It's not adding it, base 30. This is adding to Y. This is adding 1. One E, what's one E? Sixteen plus fourteen, that's thirty. Yeah. And that I think that's why I add one to it in base thirty. Thirty two seconds. Wow. Wow. Right, I'm going to rename this row. I'm going to rename this um, function because it's not right. So this is add one to y. Uh, no, add one to x. That's it. Well, add one to x. We'll call it that. So I'm going to change. I'm going to change them all. To make it right, because that is that is, I mean, it says add one to base thirty, but it's not. It's adding one to x, adding one to x. So I'll just revert that to that, and then we'll do a search and replace on that and change it to that. So that means there must be this one is. This is adding to y. This is adding to y. So add one to y. Oh, but how, how, hang on. Let's undo that. We're testing it for 21. So why would that be an X? Or is that... I'm going to... I'm going to revert everything back. Going to revert everything back. There we go. Because that is adding to base 30. And that is adding to base 21. But... When I when you go and look for that, it's X. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, it, the clever bit about this was you're testing for, you're testing for the edge of the screen, right, or or close to it, and then you're running through here. You're running through here. So you're actually using the code for testing for zero with this. Very, I thought it was very clever. I thought it was very clever. So, that's the change of direction. So we have a, a lot to understand how this change of direction is used for all the all the aliens, and we haven't even got to the movement yet. We've done, we've 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 found all the instantiations where we create the aliens. We haven't even got anywhere close to the movement, and and I wanted to understand what the IRQ was doing. So we need to find. 
the, so that's what the movement, that's what the change of direction routine was. Is effectively, it's sort of flipping them backwards and forwards. But in a way that if you just change one, you can make it essentially do a loop. You could make it essentially do a loop. So, so that was to try and understand this. Now, I also, I, 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 I <laughs> This is the this is the main screen. I've converted it. <laughs> converted it. I converted it. So it says Rabbit Software proudly presents by Steve Clark. Press F1 to start. So I've done all that. I've figured that out now. And I've made it into ASCII characters. Except for these, which are the graphics. A1's graphics and A2's and stuff like that. So let's try and find the IRQ because I want to understand where is it where is it I've got it somewhere here here this I want to understand what these three arrays these three arrays are for yeah because when we when we did the investigation back earlier we found that this seemed to have ones in this seemed to have zeros in and that seemed to have zeros in but Steve says it's to do with the the IRQ. So here's the IRQ. So we've identified what the IRQ is. So we'll go to the IRQ and we'll try and find out what's going on. <laughs> yes, your name's in light. Well, that's it's your it's your program, mate. Once we recode it, mine will get put in as well. <laughs> but yours will be still there, like I did with Minter. But I, with with Jeff's program, I actually changed it to say by John Dale on it. <laughs> the character he'd he'd done enough characters that I could put my name on it. Anyway, so I don't know what sixty one is. I need to find we need to find out what sixty one is. But eighty six, eighty six. That's the frequency voice stepper start address. But we don't use that because you, won't, you, you X only goes down to 1. So, 86 is something else. And I'm not sure what it is. So, when we, when we look at this, IRQ, we're decreasing 61, whatever 61 is. And we're saying if it's not equal to 0, we're coming here. Yeah? Now... I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's looking after the shield because of the shield active thing here. I'm not sure. But we'll, f we'll find out. But this is the interesting bit. This is where the three arrays are. Right? So we're loading X with 14 and then we're loading A from 14 comma whatever X is. And we're saying if it's not... Is it equal to zero? No. <laughs> okay, I'll stop until you get a notepad, mate. <laughs> but, if 14 is not equal to zero, then it bypasses this, yeah? It comes here and it, it just loops back round. But if 14 is equal to zero, yeah? So, if the... Thir if the let's get the array up here here so your when we're defaulting it 14 is being loaded with 0 28 onward is being loaded with 0 but 0 is being loaded with 1 so that's the initial state all right so when we run through this routine, we're actually loading 14. We're loading whatever's in the third, the, the, the second array, this array here, yeah? And if it's not zero, we bypass it and move on to the next one. But if it is zero, then we are decreasing whatever's in the first array. So we're decreasing it. And then we're saying, okay, is it zero? Nope, right, carry on. But if it is zero, then we set one back into 14.
So we're putting it back to the initial. Oh no, 14 is this one. So we, we, we're not putting it back into the initial state. So we're trying to understand what this is doing because that's all it does. It looks at 14. If it's zero, it decreases the first array, the equivalent first array. If that's zero, then it sets 14. Uh, 14, 14, 16 plus 4, yes, 20. You think it's the array, the array alien type array. Okay, well I did say possible, possible, well, in fact, Andy did say that it could be a possible bad guy flags. Yeah, possible bad guy flags. All right then, so... And you say it's around the types, yeah? So it's the alien types, yeah? Not the actual aliens themselves, but the alien types. I think the O1 is a flag to show the timing is ready for the alien of that type to be moved. Oh, right, okay. So you're saying that this... So you're saying... No, not that, is it? Right, so you're saying this one is the uh, move movement trigger array. So it's either zero or one. In fact, we'll put that there. So you're saying that's the movement trigger array. And it's for the types, yeah? Yeah, based on the, the, the X index. So what's the first array for then? Because we're decreasing it. Is that is that how long it moves for? So this is how long to move for. All right. How long to move for. Or is it how long to wait before it moves again? Oh, it's probably wait, isn't it? How long to wait? Uh, so on, so on, oh, so one of the other arrays is the counter and one is the counter reset value. Right. So that means, so based on this, this must be the counter. So how long, so this must be the reset value then. So that so that so ba right okay so basically this is the flag that tells the system we're going to move it yeah and then when it's moved it'll reset so it must reset the value back into the counter and then that's how long we wait for again 
Okay. Okay. So, right, we're gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we can we can move the comments around. Yeah, we can move the comments around, but. Based on what you've said, they're the three arrays, and they're they're what going to do. We don't we're not quite sure which one's which, but I've got a sneaky suspicion that the first array is how is the counter. I've got a sneak just because of this here. So let's um, let's put some names to this. Are you all right? Are there been pains? <laughs> Dogs are being a pain. Right, so let's call this something something meaningful. Um, process bad guy timers. Okay, so where's that? So that's there. That'll be that one. And that will be that one. Right, so we're processing the bad, bad guy timers. Oh, excuse me. So this is bypassing um, so if it's not equal to zero we bypass it so if it's one so so we should be initializing that to one surely but I reckon it could be that one there but we'll see um, So we'll call no we'll call this um, process next um, Yep, yeah, we'll do that. So that's then we DEX and we look, loop back round. So we'll call this um, oh, bad guy type looper. And my OCD was kicking in. I'm calling them bad guys and then I'm calling them aliens. Oops. Right, so we can get rid of that now. So we're still not quite sure what to call these arrays, but I bet that's the timer. And this is the flag. So um, let's get, let's put some storage in. Let's just do this. So um, storage. Let's let's say right. So um, We're just assuming at the moment. Uh, 
another bit of the 14, wasn't it? And this was 28. Now I'm not gonna re I'm not gonna set them because just in case the um, it may be the original setup is one, so it has a value to count down from to immediately trigger trigger them and then reset them. Okay. So we are oh right. So you're saying that. We're setting the timer to one, so it triggers it. Right. Okay, confident 14 is the trigger flag, as BNE at 15.05 would jump. Right, so you're saying 14 is the trigger flag, and that's what we've got. All right. We'll change the we'll change the variables in in a bit once we are truly truly sure. So it decreases and and loops through until it hits zero, and then we. This is the sound. This must be your. This must be the sound. So we're loading the Vic Re, whatever Vic Re is. Nine A B C D E. Right here we go. Sound and volume and auxiliary colour. Oh, is this is this to control the flames down here? Well, I wonder. I wonder. So. 4F, so we're comparing it with 4F. So bits 0 to 3. So bits 0 to 3 are sound volumes. Right. Sound volume is bits 0 to 3. So that's going to be 4, isn't it? Yeah. And then bits 4 to 7. So 4. Five, six, seven are the auxiliary colour. So you're testing for the volume to be max and four. One, two, four. So, th right, okay. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one, twenty-eight. So one, two, four. Yeah, okay. So that's three. So you're testing for th the three bits in the high nibble, and the four bits in the low nibble. Right. So that's effectively this. You're testing for that. And if it's equal to that, you're setting it. Oh, because we're storing it back in. So you're setting it. Oops. So you're setting it back to. So you must be decreasing it somewhere. So we're loading it, we're checking it with. 4F. If it's equal to 4F, then we're going to reset reset the colour and volume. I know I spelt volume wrong, but I don't care. So that's there. 
this is effectively bypassing the reset. So we will call this bypass reset. Bypass reset, so we can get rid of that. So that's setting it back. So then you're doing something. Oh, and then you're jumping somewhere else. Okay. So this is, must be in there. Okay, um, so you're jumping to somewhere. Right, so we're on line, let's, let's just make note. So we're on line 15, 34. We are going to go to here. And then we're going to go to here. Right. Oh, this is the um, sound cycling, isn't it? So this is the sound cycling. So we'll call that. Because you're doing that jump, I don't want to change your code. I don't want to change your code until we do the recoding. So we will have to. Right, where was we? 15. 15. 34. So that's here. So I'm gonna. We'll call this, we'll do that, and we'll call this to, we'll call it jump to that, yeah? So let's find that. And we'll call it jump to that. Right, that should, so I'm going to, uh, uh, anything that's a jump, you know, you, where you jump into the, I'm going to put JMP in front of it. So we know that that's a jump variable, yeah? So here, we, if we get rid of that, that should error and we'll put that in its place. I don't want to change... I don't want to change um, your code, but when we come to recode it, we'll get rid of all these these jumps because of you at your source code after being two two bits. Right, so this is the sound. So we're taking the Vic chip. We're taking the the um, we're taking the value of the frequency of the voice. We're testing if we're zero. Are we zero? Yes, we are. Right, so here we're going to go bypass um, bypass uh, voice change. That's what we'll call it. And we'll put that there. <laughs> you really you really <laughs> I haven't got a pet he built it on a pet I mean I could use my assembler I could use my assembler but I don't want to be back in the dark ages but you know nothing stopping you doing it <laughs> <laughs> right so if it's not equal to zero so there's still a frequency in the voice it's going to bite it it's going to work on it but if it is zero it means the voice has been shut off so it's not going to do anything so here we are now i've got these i've got these variables all mapped out haven't i 
So here is frequency stepper. <laughs> Mate, I would, I would love a pet. I, 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 because the keyboard sound. That's why I've got those original Vix, and I've got the the original keyboards for the Vix, because it just sounds like being back at school on the pets, messing around on the pets. I just, I just love it. I just, yeah. I don't know where I'd put it though. <laughs> and I'm not sure Mrs. OSK would appreciate it. She, she says I, I have too many computers as it is. <laughs> um, because I have got what F I have 43 working Commodore 64's I have last count I think it's 20 something 23 or 24 broken 64's I have 11 Vic 20's 3 of them are model 1's I have four C128s, two C16s, two plus fours. Um, I have now an Amiga 600. I have two Amiga 500s. Uh, seven BBC Micros, B, Model Bs. I've got one Model A, three Electrons, Five Dragon 32s, um, two Amstrad CPC 464s. One of them is unique. Yeah, she says I have too many computers. You've got a 2001 in the shed. Wow, that's the one with the white keyboard, isn't it? That's the one with the white keyboard, isn't it? Ooh! Why have I got 87 as the frequency threshold? It's not, it's 8A. Okay, so where's that going? Um, bypass reset. No. Is that reset? No, that's switching off. Yeah. That's switching off. So, bypass. Um, um, we'll call it what it is. Switch off. Voice. Nico's on the prowl for some reason. Right, so that bypass is switching it off. Okay, and then that's going... <laughs> you need a jerry cam. A jerry cam. You've got to say that, got to say that carefully because there's jerry can, isn't there? And a jerry can isn't a jerry can thing where you put petrol in? Uh oh, is it? Nico, Nico, hello, buddy. How you doing, mate? How you doing? Hey, they wanted to see you. Hey, they wanted to see you. They want you to say hello. What's what's the reason for the reverse engineering? Um, we're we're gonna do gonna do the same as what we did with Grid Runner Proton. We're going to we're gonna recode it, gonna re recode it, um, and then we're going to make it work on all the different Commodore machines if we can get away with it. So if we can get away with it on the pet, we'll make it on the pet. If we can get away with it, we'll recode it for the Vic anyway. And then we're going to put it on the C64, the 128, the 
C16 plus 4. Um, that's all we did, didn't we, on the pet... Because we called it Petsky Matrix, didn't we? Where... Was there another, ver another version that we did? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been in there. <laughs> Stream lads don't have permissions to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I was thinking of doing the grid runner for the BBC, but yes, this would be an ideal candidate to put on the BBC. Ideal candidate to put on the BBC, like the grid runner would be. But let me just, let me find, let me just find, uh, Petsky Matrix. I can't remember, it must be up here, Commodore. Uh, 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 uh. where is it? thought it was in there I can't remember where I put it oh I know where it is it's in the patron only isn't it there it is it's in the patron only So, for Grid Runner, we made it. Oh, come on, hurry up! So we. Oh, we. I was working on a Mega sixty five version as well, wasn't I? Um, so we for Grid Runner, we did it for the uh, the pet, the Vic twenty. So we recoded rec it, and then we did it. We recoded it for the sixty four, and then we took that code and redid it for all the platforms, so you can play Grid Runner. And so we'll do the same with Myriad, yeah. Well, we're going to do some BBC stuff. We are going to do some BBC stuff. I mean, what if we could use this as our once we've recoded for the BBC uh, for the the Commodore systems, we could have a BBC set of streams where we can code it for the BBC because the logic, the alien logic, and the control logic will be exactly the same. The only things that would change would be the input logic. And the display logic, because the BBC doesn't display in characters, it displays in sprites, soft sprites, so we'd have to work that out. But yeah, that's to answer your question, Proton, that's what we're going to do. We're going to convert it for all the Commodore. Um, did I pub did I publicise grid run? Yeah, I well, I mean, I did a load of streams on it. I mean, it it works pretty well on the on the pet. Let me just load it back up again. So if we go into the pet, then you load the workspace. Get out of the way, you guys. Open workspace, and then. F6. Ooh, it failed. What am I, what did it fail on? What's it failing on? Oh, colour ram. Why is colour ram in there? We got it defined pet. Oh, I must have broken it. Oh, it's been changed. What's been changed? Oh, this is where I was doing the Mega 65. Oh, here we go. This is why. So it's in utils. Hang on, let me just fix this problem. Here. Uh, where are we? Line 389. Here. That's the one there. Um, so, um, this was for Mega Sixty Five, so we'll test it for the Mega Sixty Five. Hang on, so if I 
think it, is it that? Oh, I can't remember now. Hang on. Oh, hash. Hash if. Hash if. Mega 65. Do that lot. Hash end if. There we go. That should do it. That should do it. Right. So we should be able to run it now. F6. Here we go. Well, I can't remember what the keys were. Oh, here we go. Uh, fire, fire. What's fire? Oh, there we go. So there you go. That's grid runner for the pet, all right? So that's what we would do. What's that's the plan? That's my plan to do with Myriad is to try and um, put it on all the other Commodore platforms. But I was thinking of doing grid run on the BBC as well. Yeah, so we will do that. But yeah, um, I did publicise it. I'm sure I did that we created grid runner for the pet. I'm sure we did. Anyway, so back to this. Back to this. We digress. So this is now next voice, isn't it? So process next voice. I did. I'm, I'm sure we did, mate. Because we did. Because we publicised all the other ones. You know, the C16 version and the C128 version. And I was secretly, as you saw, planning a Mega 65 version. <laughs> but I ran out of time. It was meant to be for the competition, but I ran out of time. Anyway. Um, process next voice. So that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do, Proton. So we are gonna take this and we're gonna make it. Um, I won't say better because the game's brilliant. Um. Well, well, I mean, we'll use the, we'll, we'll try and use as much as we can. So, you know, uh, make it better. That sounds wrong. It's not right. I don't mean make the game better as in the playability of the game, because I think the game's brilliant. But I think um, make it more efficient. Um, still use the same concept that Steve's used here, trying to make it object. Tifidy, but yeah, I, I want to. I want to. We want to. Re, I want to recode it. Um, you know, because if you notice, when if you notice, one of the big things that I want to fix, right? One of the and this is no criticism to Steve or anything like that. One of the crit, one of the things I want to fix is the fact that the characters disappear, right? The characters disappear, and I want to try and make that the if you look, you see it flashes and these flash. I want to make it that the game is in tune with the raster, so we don't have any disappearing, disappearing characters. Yeah. No, mate. No, I I know you're on, but you know there are there are things that we can do to make the game better than it better than it is now. I think the game's brilliant, but like I say, when the characters disappear, like here, they're disappearing because of the raster prop, because the the update of the raster that they're moving. So you move the character there when the raster's gone past, it disappears on the next cycle. So want to be able to fix that raster issue, yeah. Well. I'm going to be getting the Vic out because I've I found my Myriad tape, right, and and I'm going to be playing it because I want to make sure. Because like you, you you think it's the emulator. Well, I don't remember them flashing, so I've I've got the Vic, and I want to I want to be able to try it and see if it does flash. Because if it does flash, then we know we've got to we've got to try and do some timings. I love the game, and I think it's an absolute bonkers 
Um, I mean, when you get to level eight and nine, it's, it's manic. But it's the ideal candidate to move on all the other platforms and the BBC. You know, so there will be there will be some things where we're going to do on the BBC. So this is doing, right? So this is doing the voices. So as I said on the last stream, it it's taking the voice, subtracting the stepper, checking for the threshold, and if it's greater than the threshold, it carries on. But if it's less than the threshold, we switch the voice off. Um, corrupted the graphics. Well, I think I fixed. I think I fixed the graphics. Um, because I, like you said, I went and grabbed um, the 8K version, and I, because I know where the character set is, I grabbed it. I don't think we've got dodgy characters now. Right, but that's the thing. the The IRQ. That's all it does. Right, let's go and find it again. So I'm not sure what 61 is. What is 61? We need to find what's where there's 61. Let's find the references for 61. So there's two references. There's the IQ and then this one. Right, okay. So, uh, oh, right. Okay. Right. That is the shield timer. Oh, you VS Code, you sometimes get on my nerves. <coughs> so that's the shield timer. So let's change that to be that. So that's the shield timer. So, um, so what's eighty six? Oh, really? Uh, zigzag bomb 12 right let's look at 12 are you saying it's not meant to be blocky up here is it just meant to be There you go. Um, so the zigzag bomb doesn't have this block at the top. Let's have a look. Um, fi oh, you are right. Yes. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so let's change let's change this. So we need to do No, 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 no. We need to do that, don't we? And then that. So, we'll make that a zero and we'll make that a zero. There you go. Zigzag bomb is right. Um, I admit I only took the characters. I only took the characters. I didn't take the um, the the aliens. So we'll have to check them all. We'll have to check them all. I'll see if I can get that image back up, and I'll grab the entire the entire um, thing. Right. So what's eighty six? So 
So that's the shield timer. So if it's equal to zero, we load we load the shield active. If it's equal But if it's not right, so what's eighty six then? Let's look for eighty six. So eighty six is there. Any more? So we're setting it. Okay, what's this? What's this? What's this routine? A game loop. Hmm, 86. So, why? Storing zero in 86 and the shield active. Ooh, what's 86? Okay, so there's only 86. If it's equal to zero, where's that going? So that's bypassing that. So if it's equal to zero, so it clears the ship graphics and then draw, draws the ship graphics. I presume it's drawing the ship graphics because of the, the shield. Um, so storing one, so when we turn the shield on, we don't store it in 86, okay. But this is the IRQ. So we load the shield active. If it's equal to zero, it bypasses it bypasses it. It sets one into there. So what's what's eighty six doing? So it's there. Oh, is that? That's got me confused. What is X86 doing? <laughs> it's not Jesus with his clothes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's 86 doing? What is 86 meant to be doing? We set it to one in the IRQ. Um, it's like it's cl it, yeah, it clears the... Does it re-establish the ship? But it stores it in shield active as well.
load the shield act so when it runs out of the timer load the active shield if the active shield is equal to one then we set one in 86 oh oh, oh right okay is this the flag that turn yeah that's that's what I'm just starting to think that it, it this yeah that this only because it's clear in the ship graphics then resets it and stores it in the shield and then redraws the the ship so yeah it it seems to be in not it because it sets it to one it sets it to one when the t when the shield timer runs out so we'd have to regraw we, we'd have to redraw the ship So yeah, that looks like that could be it, mate. It's a it's a good shout that it's a, a player movement flag, right? So oh yeah, ship. Well, is it a movement or just redraw? Ship redraw flag. Because that's what it's doing. Right. Line numbers. No. Have I copied? Have I copied somebody's assembler? Right. This is what my this is what my source code used to look like when I wrote on the the sixty four. Right. Let's pick out. Um, let's pick out. Where is it? Day and one. Is it that one? Right. There's the original. There's the original. Assemble the C sixty four assembler. Oh, that's been processed. Hang on. Um. It's that. There we go. That's how I used to do that's how I used to do my assembly. So this would be the line number in basic, then quotes, and then you type in the code. Is that what you worked on? Is that how you coded on the pet? Because that's how I did my my assembler on the C64. So ignore this, this is just the editor. But that is the line number. Oh, really? Great minds. <laughs> um, before we had, before me folks bought a disk drive, it was all on tape. That's why I wrote hyperload and hypersave so I could save big files very quickly. Yeah. But yeah, if, if we had a power cut, gone. Or if somebody tripped over the power cable, gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, let's let's put this in. Right, so we've got several 86s. Now, I am not going to do a general I'm going to do a find. Uh, 
that was renumbered. That was renumbered because I wrote a renumber program um, to do that. So if I if if I needed space, I would I would run my renumber program over it. That because there was no go tos or anything, I just it just renumbered it. And I did one of my, one of my assemblies. I renumbered to ten, and then and then it blew it blew a fuse because it, <laughs> it ran out. Because the biggest line number was thirty two thousand six hundred and seventy six. Line numbers didn't go up to six 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 five five six five. I didn't think. What did they? No, they did. No, they did. But one time I blew it. I blew blew it up by doing spaces of ten. I had so many lines of code, it just blew it. The edit, the basic editor crashed because it couldn't handle the line numbers that <laughs> that were that were wrong. Right, let's renumber this. So the chip redraw flag, we're going to miss those two. We should have some more. Why is it? Oh, that's because it's in there. I want to be in there. That's it. Right, so um, ship redraw flag. So we've got how many? One, two, three, four. There we go. So now we know what 86 is. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna start that game. Here we go. Have a, have a crack at the game. Um, I'll put it on easy, not hard. There you go. Have a go. Oh, what's going on? Where's the overlay? Where's the, oh it's not on. The, the game's not on. Oops. Oh my overlay's broke. Oh no! I'll sort it out later. Never mind. Right. So we're back to this. We're back to this now. So let's see if we can find any references to fourteen. Yeah, we know about that. Here we go. Now, because you run through it and do DEX, 14 is not actually a number, is it? Because it'd be naught. So you'll be one minus, like I put in the comments, I think. I'll put in the comments that the actual arrays. So it's 1 to 14, 15 to 28, 29 to 36. Because you do DEX, so if it's 1, it does 0. It ne so it never actually does the 0. So, for so it's always 1 to 14. So when, you when you've found a 14... That's the very last um, bad guy type. So have I got all the bad guy types? Constants, there it is. Have I got all the bad guy types? So we've got, f let's get these all ordered in the right way. So A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 13. So we are missing a f still a few bad guy types. Right, so floaters. Have I got floaters? No. Swoopers, no. Buzzers, 
No, so we still need to find all these things. Right, so... Okay, so these are, like you said, related to the bad guy type. So I reckon... Could you play one intro? Yeah, I'm missing all the standard ways. John, could you play one intro? I list there a bunch of tools I used in the 1980s. Right, let's get back. Well, I need to find all these bad guys. So, um, so 14, so if we're doing, if we're doing naught at 1 to 14, I think that's what we're saying, 1 to 14, 13, so are we still missing, are we missing four, uh, uh, a bad guy 14 as well? Oh, let's see if we can find these. So it was element type, wasn't it? Let's see if we can find element type. Reflectors, virus, bomb. Reflect a bullet, bomb, builder, explosion, debris, asteroid, meteorites, bricks. Oh. <laughs> Only you guys could think something like that. <laughs> right. Oh, here we are. Current wave. Current wave sets the element types. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, da, 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 let's do that. So floaters. Oops. One. Yeah. Swoopers. Buzzers. Meteorites. Boxes. Oops. Five, six, seven, eight. So five is boxes. Um, six are miners. Fighters. And pods. So is that all of them? 1 to 13 is 19. Yeah, that would be right, wouldn't it? Because 0 indexed at 1, it starts at 1. So yeah, that's right. So... 
Um, so it's 1 to 13. Or oh, is it? Or oh, is it? Have we got a 14th? Do we have a 14? What are we missing? Floaters, swoopers, buzzers, material, miner, fighters, pods, asteroids. Then we've got bricks, mines, reflectors, virus, bomber, builder. Got the explosion and debris. So are, are we missing a are we missing a type here? Am I losing the plot? No, I'm going to say bullet can't be in that because you can have many bullets on the screen, so it must have its own array. Um, are we missing an, an an element type? We may not be missing anything. There is a chance that the table is oversized. Okay. Okay. Then what? That then begs the question. Because you specifically store in 14 lot and 28. Or is this... Um, oh, I don't know. See, I understand that. But we can have many bullets on the screen. So surely you would... You, Oh, it's the bad guy ray, isn't it? So you are ah, right. So you're saying you're saying the last one here, fourteen, is the bullet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I got that. That this is the type, not the number. Yeah, it, it dawned on me when I, after I said it. So here... Five into 14. So that's... Okay, z what do we say? Zero is... Right, so we're saying 28 is the reset value, yeah? That's, that, yeah, 28 is the trigger and 14 is the how long to wait, okay. Now, don't worry about the chat being delayed, mate. Don't worry about the chat being delayed. So, we need to then, um, we need to then, where's the storage? We Now we know, understand what they are, and we are agreed that this is what they are, yeah? We need to change those. But I can't use 14. I can't use 14. But what I can do is do um, this. Because 
Well, this 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 is this is what I'm thinking. Yeah. So, is this the counter, or is that the the reset value? Because the reset value, that means it's in there. Yeah. So this must be the counter. But then it doesn't match with the IRQ then. Because it, it... Oh, hang on. Where is it? There. Because it decreases zero. So, okay, so, um, so why are we decreasing zero then? Oh, not that one, here. We're decreasing zero. Yeah. Well, there's nothing for 15. And there's no nothing so it, Hmm. Well, there's a lot of 28s. So load 14, bypass it, Poss possible bad guy def definition array, <laughs> right, okay, <laughs> possible bad guy definition array, let's find that, let's find that because that's going in zero. There we go. So that's going to be 14. And that's been stored in zero. So so it looks like it looks like 28 is your trigger. No, 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 no. Let's get this. Let's get this right. Um, oh, I need. To, I need another split. There we go. So that's the array. So, these values are being put into zero. So, are we are we now saying that they're the reset? How can, how can they be the reset values? When we've got an interrupt decreasing it. Oh, the start value of the counter. Okay. So this is still the counter. So we still we're still in the right ballpark then. 
So, um, okay. So, 28. Is that, that's, is that the reset value? Let's just see if we can find 28. Because that's what we was doing. Load nor into 28. Yeah. So they're your reset values, yeah? So what's triggering the reset value? Is it this? That when you put naught into 28, that triggers it? Let's have a look. Here we go. So, low 28. If it's not equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero. Then. But that's the bullet. That's the bullet. If it's equal to. If it's equal to zero, it comes out. Okay. Anywhere else we use 28. So what's 28? How? Let's look for more. So that's resetting 28 to 0. So's that. And that's setting it to 1. So when you set, you set 28 to 1 and then you load the counter back in so what's the IRQ doing then it's not touching 28 So how how does the re how does the reset work then? Is that because of fourteen? Here we go. No, that's the IRQ, isn't it? Here we go. Load 14, if it's equal to zero, we bypass all this. Right, okay. So that's looping through and resetting the counter. Okay, got it. So if the counter is zero, we re this is resetting it. But not sure what 28 does is that a, a, a signal that it's been it, that it's been reset Yeah, that's what it looks like, isn't it? That you that twenty eight saying it's been reset. It's been reset. Right. So this is not the reset value. It's the fact that the counter has reset. 
So this is the counter. Counter to trigger movement. Then it triggers the movement as described here. So one equals move, zero equals state. Zero equals uh, not reset, one equals reset. I think that's what it's doing, isn't it? It sets it to one when it's reset. Yeah, so it sets it to one when it's reset. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so that's the timer to for the to trigger the the movement this is the flag to say move and then this is the flag to say that the time has been reset right okay let's um, let's change our thing so this is bad guy timer reset that's right trigger and counter so now I've put these at uh, 1 15 and 29 because if we do 14 that's going to get in the way of going to get in the way so what we need to do is here we need to search for 14 whoops and change it for that that's what we need to do so we'll change that one change that one change that one change that one and that one any more no right so we'll change zero and put that in its place and of course it's complaining already that's all right do that so that's 01, so replace that, replace that one, replace that one. <laughs> that's sorted that out. And then the other one is 28. And that is that. So replace that one, replace that one, and replace that one. So we've got another one, haven't we? Here, frequency stepper. Right, let me, um, let me do the same for that. So frequency stepper is going to be 87 and that's going to be 8b because that's what it is so let's find all the frequency steppers there's one so minus one minus one in fact we'll do it like that so we any more minus one minus one
Right, now I've been messing around. Now I've been messing around. I'm going to see if it still still compiles. Well, we're still on a winner. Ooh. Boom. Pants. Pants, 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 pants. We broke it. Let's have a look at the... Um, right, so what are, we, what are we looking for? We're looking for that. So that's zero, that's right. That's right. Fourteen, that's right. Fourteen, that's right. Ooh. Missed one. There. Right, we're looking for that. That's what we're missing. Where are they? Right. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Right. Let's try that again. There we go. Right. We are still working. <laughs> we are still working. <laughs> I, I was having a bit of a, oh no, bust it moment. Right. So we've got some 14s. 14s around. There we go. So that has got to be, that has got to be that. So we're going to do that. Minus one plus, um, oh, come on. Bullet. So bullet is 14. So one, uh, one minus one is zero plus 14. Uh, storage. All right, so that's, that's setting the bullet. So here, bad guy timer. Minus one plus this. So it should end up at 29 and, and it should be bad guy timer reset is 29 minus one is 28 plus, but that's not right. No, that's not right. It is not that, it is this. Bad guy timer trigger 
minus 1 is 14, plus 14 is 28. That's what we were looking for. Right, are there any more 14s? No, 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 no. They are the only two. Um, right, so we're on a winner. What's 66? Audi X66, place character on screen. Oh, shit lower off. Shit lower, oh, I bet that's the flame, I bet that's the flame color. Is that the flame color? Ooh, we found something, flame color. 66, yes, let's do that. So that's 66, OB, so that's cycling through the flame color. Oh, is it? Compare it with OB, branch if equal to there. Decrease 66, has the ship been destroyed? So we need to find out what 67 is as well. Let's just make sure 66. Load 66, put it in the colour element. So it is, it's the flame. Right, okay, let's change that. So 66 now becomes storage. Yeah. That. Replace all. So that's the colour. 60... Okay. Let's let's run through it then. Okay, so has the ship been destroyed? Blah blah blah. It's not that. Okay, so where where where? So it's saying sixty six OB. Compare it with OB. Is it equal to? And then it sets sixty seven. But if it's not, then it decreases sixty six there. But starts. At OD and it's used to place a character on the screen and that's the color right where is our color uh, back to Vic colors let's find that page Oh, show me the colours. Show me the colours. I know about that. Oh, no, you don't show the colours either. Okay. Where is that? Where is that? 
Here we go. Here we go, colour ram. I'm going to mark that. Stick it in my... Uh... There, that'll do. So, because it's bigger than... Because it's bigger than 7, OD. Right, so OD is your start. Oh, brain's gone to sleep. D is 13, which is 101, which is green. And then you're decreasing until you get to... Um, OB. that so you're going from there to 011 there cyan so you're cycling through green per green purple cyan but multicolor yeah so green so green purple cyan but it's in multi it's in the multi it's the auxiliary color so let's just watch on here Now that's the slowest it'll go, isn't it? Can't remember how to make it go faster or slower. Yeah, the shield, okay. Let's see. Is he gonna activate his shield? There. Yellow. But the shield's not in multicolor mode, is it? Oh, I can't remember how to pause this. Stop. Um, how do we, how do we, aha. All right, here we go. So put yellow, purple. Yellow, purple. So it can't be the shield. find the other reference to it right here we go so it says it's the ship it's definitely the ship but you're cycling from OD from OD which is that to that And then you set in the bit, the 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 the, um, the multicolored bit. Yellow, purple, yellow, purple. How about the warp engine ends? Take a closer look at them. Right, okay, let's get let's get the uh, let's get it to a place where it, right, here we go. Purple, yellow. Purple, yellow.
Purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Right. I'm not sure what this is this is doing. Unless something on the ship's changing, let's have a look. Now only those these two here and the yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yeah. Um, what did, I can't remember what we called it, hang on. What did we call it? Um, where is that colour thing that you were talking about? I thought we created a variable for it, I can't remember. Is it that one? No. It's here, isn't it? 900F. I'm sure that's something to do with it. 900F. Yeah, here we go. Background border, inverse colour. In multicolor mode, this colour is selected with the bit values. So bit 47, these four bits determine the background colour. Okay. Bits one, oh, bit three, default to one. This bit serves as the inverse colour switch. So it's that. OE. OE. Compare it with OE, which is 14, that. But 14. Oh, hang on. 14 minus. Hmm. So we're not looking at that. We are looking at bits. This. Here we go. Bits naught. And the other bit, which is uh, this bit serves as an inverse color switch. When it's set to one, the background, the background and foreground colors are in their respective pl places. Setting this to zero, however, inverts that scheme. The foreground will be used for the background, and all the characters are shaded in the background color. Okay. So you're setting that switch to be on. Right, okay. So OE, 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 OE. Let's see, OE is 6 blue that can't be right oh compare it with blue if it's not equal to jump around it set it to OE let me just make sure I've got this right 110 which is 6 which is blue okay Stores it there. Uh, 
and then it sets it to 1E. Oh, what? But that's set in the top colour, isn't it? One is white. Is that is this when it cra is this when the ship blows up? Is this when the ship blows up? He does die, doesn't he? There. He does die, doesn't he? That's just changed the background colour, isn't it? White and black, white and black, white and black. So white is one, black is zero. So that is that is the, this is the um, this is the death. This I'm sure this is the death scene. Sure, that's the death scene. So this 66, what's this 66 doing? Okay, let's understand. So OD stores it. So OD is D is 13, which is not that. So it's going to be that 13. So eight. So it's 101, which is five which is green so where's the purple coming from purple yellow purple yellow hmm I'm gonna run it It's definitely purple yellow. There's nothing. There's nothing changing. There is nothing changing on there. Purple yellow. Purple yellow. Right. Okay. Ooh, spending so much time on this. I still think X is definitely the colour of the object we're putting on, which is the lower the lower right. So that's the flame. That's the flame. And then we put The lower right, lower left, but we don't change the X. So that's that's got to be the flame colour. 66 has got to be the flame colour. Load 66, compare it with OB. Uh, if it's n equal to OB, bypass it. If it's not, decrease it. That, I'm still, co yeah, it looks, to, the, the shield colours, I think, yeah, I think that's the, um, I think they're the two colours that you're using for everything when it's in multicolour mode. 
So, so it, you're right. It's not a flame color, but I I think it's the um, multicolor toggle. Instead of it being, uh, where are we? Instead of being the flame color, because everything is, I mean, I mean, suppose it is the flame color, suppose. But I'm, I'm still not convinced. Let's run it again. Because look, these are flashing yellow and purple, yellow and purple, yellow and purple. So the, it's definitely the multicolor aspect. It's definitely the multicolor aspect. Okay, we'll call it something else then. Um, Cause that's what it's doing, it's flashing the color. So we'll call it that. call it that because it's doing it for everything so that's the flashing color so 67 let's go to that 67 what's 67 is this the death flag load is the cut right okay identify what element So I'll presume that's where, it's, where we're testing to see what's on top of us. Uh, not non-lethal collision, branch of two non-lethal collision. Where's that? That's here. Okay. changing it to that there we go sorted <laughs> no don't worry about the chat lag don't worry about the chat lag now 67 I reckon that's the death flag so branch if carry clear no lethal collision is 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 Where's that? Is it? Oh, oh, there it is. No lethal collision. All right, Rob. Nice. Thanks for joining us. So that's no. So I reckon sixty-seven is. Um, as I've put there, is that the death flag? So let's see if we can find any other instances of that. So I'm not going to 
I'm just going to search for them at the moment. So 67, so 1 means it's... Right, okay, so let's go... Um, So I've got a sneaky suspicion it's that. So we set it to one when we've had a lethal collision. If it's returned now, it's set it to zero. But here it sets it to one. So where's that? So multicolor, if it's OB, branch if equal to there then we set the set it to say it's dis destroyed but then we go to the destruction routine oh I'm not sure I'm not sure We'll have to come back 67. I'm not sure. It certainly looks like it. Because we set it to zero when we reset. We're low branch if not equal to zero. Where's that going? There. Oh, decreased number of ships. Yeah, it is. It's the it's the death ship destroyed. Okay, let's do a. Oh, got it there. All right, let's replace all of them. Okay. So sixty three. What's sixty three? Get in there, get in there. How many more are there? So that's setting it to zero and then that sets it to one. Whew. Ooh, what's 63? That's the game loop. Ooh. It's not the demo flag. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Um, 63, I think, is the to do with the start or end of the ways. Glimpse in the code as you flicked. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Load level. Alright, well, um, 
we'll put a pin in that one so we can I want to understand because I, I want to I want, I want to start getting um, finding where all the movement is you know finding where all the movement for each of the guys is oh we also, we also need to do that as well that's all the noises isn't it oh I didn't do them all did I Pants. Where is it? Come on. Ah, there we go. There's one of them. Right. So we're doing bass. So this is this is voice three, isn't it? Yeah. Voice three. Let's grab that. Eighty nine. Voice three. Three. Alright, that's done that. See if there's any more. Done that one. Done that one. This is what I want to do. I want to find out where all the movement is so we can get on to doing that. So we've sorted out the... 2D. Oh, that's a new one. 2D. Yeah, that's a new one. Right, okay. So, let's make a plan. So, let's, let's find to do. Right, so I'm going to ignore that one. Right, that's where I got to. So I'm going to take that out. So the plan for the next stream. Find the bad guys uh, movement routines. And... Um, Investigate. Investigate. It was sixty three, wasn't it? Yeah. Sixty three. So that's what I want to try and do for the next stream is to try and identify um, the two D must be in the 28 array oh yeah good point so 2d in the array okay so oh I've just closed it like a wally So that is two eight. Well, it's two nine, isn't it? Two nine. Two D minus two nine is four. So that is probably. I wonder if this is the asteroid. One. Yeah. Maybe to do that. So if it's equal to one, it bypasses. If it's not, it 
I'm just wondering if that's the meteorite. 22. 22 characters. 22 character. No, box. Oh, John. Plunker. No, that is definitely, it's not four, is it? <sighs> 2D minus 28 is five. So this is the box, this is, uh, this must be the boxes. So we're in the right ballpark, there's 2C. So that must be meteorites. 34. The ch yeah, 22 for the boxes, yeah. 34, so 34 minus 28. What well, that is not right. <laughs> Thirty four minus twenty eight is twelve. Reflector. Right, so I'm wondering if I if I've accidentally stumbled across the movements. This is the movement. Right, so we'll look at this. We'll look at that in the next stream. So we're in the right ballpark here. So this must be the movements. All right. Okay, guys. Well, we've done. We've understood quite a lot now. We we understand what the IRQ is doing. We understand what that change of change of uh, direction is doing, and we're now starting to um, understand all the intricacies. Still got some things to find out, but this is going to take. This is going to take a while to sort out. So. Thank you very much, guys, for um, being here. And we'll, we'll we're going to carry on doing Myriad now until we've sorted it. And then we'll recode it and, and take it from there. So we're going to concentrate on Myriad on the next however many streams it's going to take. And then we'll, we'll make a decision whether we recode or visit Maze back and, and, and do that. I, I want to concentrate on one thing, get it done. Um, this split in time didn't seem to be getting anywhere. We, all right. So, thank you very much for joining me. I will. So we'll be back on Monday. We'll be back on Monday, same time, same place. So if you want to join me and help um, understand Steve's code, hopefully Steve will be on there as well then you're more than welcome to join us. All right. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.